Cal Poly has been a great place for me, and they've been very supportive, even when it wasn't something that they typically would support. I feel over the years, Cal Poly has really grown up. I'm Jill Adler Moore, I work at Cal Poly Pomona, and I'm a professor emeritus. Being a woman and being in science is difficult. I was somebody who was more outgoing. I wasn't just gonna be in the lab alone. The reason I chose Cal Poly was because I really wanted to do research. When I really thought about it, I realized that a place like Cal Poly had students who were more like the students I went to school with in college, and that they weren't very wealthy. They were first in their family of that generation to go to college. They were students who really had to work outside of school as well as in school in order to get their degrees. They didn't take anything for granted and they worked really hard. Working as the program director for our NIH RISE program where we, uh, our goal is to get underrepresented minority students into the PhD programs, I've met students that I've been so impressed with. Students that have had to deal with so many challenges and they've overcome them and they're still doing it and they're persistent and they, and they are role models for me, to tell you the truth. By the time they're finished with the RISE program, they have confidence, they can get up there and talk about their science. I've seen these students, I know how they perform and Cal Poly's motto is to learn by doing. And I think because we've put such an emphasis on actually being able to learn how to do things, not just to think about them, but actually do them. And I think there's so much learning that's involved in that kind of thing. I think what's really important to the mission of the whole system is that we get faculty who care. They care about the students. They care about doing quality research and bringing that experience to their students.